Bringing a giant human-shaped building to life has drawn in and excited an industry fascinated by what BIM can achieve. Using a single source of real-time design information, it's unlocked a treasure trove of insights, which Arup is preparing to share. We were aiming to produce a BIM exemplar project, one which incorporated all of the different success stories in respect to BIM that we've achieved so far. The fact that it's in the shape of a person and gets people engaged with the whole idea. Project Over enables us to, to demonstrate that, that BIM does work. It's here to stay. We've got a lot of experience in it and it allows us to push the industry to better things. Arup were involved in the government's Level 2 Exemplar projects and that enables us to work with the government in their proving of, of Level 2 BIM uh, to find out whether it worked. I think people really start to understand some of these key components around about BIM from Project O, all different levels, be it if you're a designer, a contractor, or indeed somebody in the supply chain that's a specialist, or somebody that's working from a manufacturing industry. I think there's different elements of Project O that's going to help people understand and help drive the Level 2 adoption across the UK and hopefully beyond these shores as well. Clients are starting to ask for BIM deliverables. It means we, our models have to have integrity, the data needs to be linked, needs to be a single source of information, and we need to provide data to them in various digital formats that allows them and the, the wider team to be able to use it. There's a growing appetite for its use within schools, so Arup's ability to walk into a school and articulate engineering through something that the students already understand, but then tell them about ductwork and pipework without them being bored to tears, has proven to be a big plus for the project. Not only have we produced best practice guides internally within Arup, but we've also not been shy about giving our model, giving our data set away to other people. That enables them to see what we're doing, to investigate using their own processes, their own software. So it's very much all about that single data set that's open, available, as long as they promise to share their findings. There are so many pieces of technology, pieces of software we're able to use now and it's changing so very quickly that we just need to keep Project Ove updated. Other people out in industry, be it contractors, quantity surveyors, everybody wants a, a piece of it. People are being quite shocked at what data you can put into it, what calculations you can automate and what time savings you can make on your projects. It's all about buying in the idea of what engineering can be. Other industries are all about technology and software and things that are snappy and whizzy and the construction industry is often seen as something that's slightly lower tech. The industry needs needs to change and I think we're at the forefront of that. For a chance to engage with Project Ove and to access some of Arup's free BIM tools, go to arup.com slash Project Ove.